Hey, what's up programmers? How do you override an add-on in Ember.js? Let's take a look. So the other day I was looking at this add-on called Ember Crumbly. And the way it works is it gives you like a, a current route hierarchy at the top, like a breadcrumb navigation. It's really simple to install and it just reads your routes. So I have it running here. You can see here, it's here's my local host. Here's my app in my Vim window here. And you can see here, if I hit R1, I get R1 at the top. If I go R2, I get R2, and I can click on R1. So it gives you nav navigation to the top here. So it's really simple to, to use. Now, I wanted to go ahead and edit that and change it so that way there's always a home button at the top. Now, there's a few ways you can do that. You can see a little bit better. You can see here, this is what it looks like. So there's a few ways I can do it. If I look back at my app here, uh, I have this in my application. I just added the breadcrumbs add-on here. It's just a, just a component. And if we take a look at it, and by the way, I did linkable true, so you can have links at the top and it shows how the tag names is. If I go into node modules, I kind of get an idea of what it looks like. If I go to Ember Crumbly, and I have components, I have initializers, and I can kind of see it, this export here. But the easiest way to override it, and this is just kind of a quick tip. Okay, so what I can do, you can see here, it's the navigation. I can go ahead and override how breadcrumbs work. So I'm going to go ahead and generate the component. And what I what you do is you generate the component with the exact same name as the add-on. So in this case, it would be breadcrumbs. Well, the name of the, that the add-on uses it uses a component called breadcrumbs. And you can see here, if I refresh it, now we have a breadcrumbs in our components. And we also have a breadcrumbs right here. And there's nothing in it. Now, if you notice, though, if we use it, it we broke it. So now longer, we no longer see anything at the top. So that's obviously not right. So one thing we can do is let's take one step here. We let's say we don't need to override what's actually inside the JavaScript. We just want to override what's in the template. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to bread c.js. And so that's a little better. Now we get to see this top bar here, but nothing happens when we click. So still something's happening. So what we can do is we can go to our templates and we see we have nothing in it so we're completely overriding the template now with nothing but we can go back in here and we can kind of get an idea we can see here this component this is kind of the layout that it has so let's say we want to go ahead and just put it back to exactly the way it was we can you know delete the the template we created but let's just copy and paste this Let's go back to our breadcrumbs template and we'll paste it and then we'll save it. And now, yeah, now it's back to the way where it was. So now we're using basically our implementation. We're overriding the template implementation to do this. So now you can do some other things. Like if I wanted to add in a, a link to, to the home at the top. So I wanted to have a way Let's see here. So now I just I'm just quickly copy and pasted that. So now I have a home at the top. So now as I go through my routes, I can always go back to home. So now I've added this home in here, which is really nice. And essentially I've just over overrided how the add-on works. So going back to the component, the JavaScript, let's rename this back to what it was. So We'll rename, we'll move it, essentially the same thing, breadcrumb.js. And we'll take a look here. Oops, I missed it. There's an S at the end. Let me do that again. Move breadcrumbs.js. There we go. Now you can see it's weird. It doesn't look quite right because we're not using the JavaScript. 
And you could try something crazy and go in here and and try to like copy and paste all this. But an easier way to do it is you can see what's doing from the app here. It's calling this export. So what I can do is I can actually import this in into my breadcrumbs component here. So instead of exporting, we're going to import. I'm going to import it. I'm going to give it a name. Just call it BC for breadcrumbs. And it's going to import it from this. Basically, this, this path is in the node modules folder, and it's from the add-on. And then we're going to export. Instead of ember.component, we're going to go bc.extend. And let's see if that works. All right, so now we're back. So now we, you can see here the home R1 looks the way it did before. And now we can do things like this. We can add in our own properties into it. Since we're extending it, now we have access to it in here. Save it. So now here's our test that we just added. So definitely it's pretty powerful. You can do this with any sort of add-on. You just need to be able to import it in and then instead of ex exporting the default Ember component, now you can export what's already created and you can extend it however you like it. So that's just a quick tip. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and check a look, take a look in the, uh, the Description below, I have a link to my Ember.js cookbook, which I go over to go over things like this and a lot more. Thanks.